Opel Crossland X, a small German crossover SUV that costs 79,000 dirhams and goes up against the Chinese Haval H2, the Japanese Honda HRV, and the Korean Hyundai Kona. With plenty of options in this segment, let's see if this Crossland X has what it takes to stand out. With fuel economy becoming an important number in the region, the Opel Crossland X is powered by a 1.2-litre, three-cylinder turbocharged engine that offers the best of both worlds. Averaging 5.4 litres per 100 kilometres, it is fuel efficient. But since it puts out 110 horsepower and 205 newton meters of torque, it is also fun to drive. With virtually no turbo lag, the six-speed automatic transmission pushes power to the front wheels and offers drivers added excitement with the option to shift through gears manually. The suspension is tuned well and the brakes are strong enough to bring the car to a stop smoothly, safely and comfortably. Driving aids come in the form of a lane departure warning system that beeps if the car nears the edge of a lane and the indicator isn't switched on. There's also cruise control, a speed limiter and heads-up display that projects speed and navigation information on a panel in front of the driver so they never need to take their eyes off the road. When it comes to interior design and quality, the designers have opted to go for a minimalistic approach and so there are very few buttons along the dashboard and centre console. There are soft touch materials that cover certain parts of the cabin and since this is the full option model, it gets leather seats as well. Speaking of the seats, they aren't just any normal seats. They have been ergonomically certified by the AGR campaign for healthier backs and so they are extremely comfortable and offer up to 16-way adjustment. Space in the back is better than expected and that is thanks to the relatively straight roof. The seats do slide forwards and backwards as well as recline but the lack of rear AC vents are likely to be a concern for buyers in the region. Boot space measures in at 410 litres behind the second row or 1,255 litres when folded flat. Generously equipped on the feature front, this full option model is fitted with a full-length panoramic glass roof parking sensors in the front and back, a rear view camera with bird's eye view, an 8-inch touch infotainment screen with navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as a wireless charger and a dual zone climate control system, among many, many others. Those of you who are familiar with Opel and its lineup might remember the Meriva, a mini MPV that sold until 2017. This Crossland X is the successor to that model and so it does look a little like an SUV but a lot like an MPV as well. The SUV touches include silver skid plates in the front and back as well as silver roof rails on top. Targeting the youth, the Crossland X is available in a choice of eight exterior colours with two options for the roof, white or black like we have on our test car. Since this is the full option model, it also gets full LED headlights with LED daytime running lights and 17-inch alloy wheels. With a starting price of 69,000 dirhams including VAT and a full option price of 79,000 dirhams including VAT, the Opel Crossland X offers good value for money. Even more so when you realize it includes a 5-year 100,000 km warranty, a 5-year 50,000 km service contract and complimentary registration for the first year. So, to answer the question we laid out in the beginning, does the Opel Crossland X have what it takes to stand out? Sure, it's a German car at Chinese car prices and that's enough to make it special. Thanks for watching.